Welcome to the Cook Islands and let's go! Hi guys, Natu here from Dan and Natu's Adventures, or as the locals would say, Kyo Rana. So we are currently in Rarotonga, Cook Islands. We're at the beautiful place in Rarotonga called Fruits of Rarotonga. We're gonna go snorkeling here with my snorkels. Um, supposedly there's heaps of fish in the water here as well as turtles. So we're gonna go and check it out. Come on with us on this adventure. Today we went to Billy's. Kiranan morning, so we're currently at the new Avachu Wharf located in Avarua. And this morning we've got the guys there fishing on the boats down there, we might go check that out.
Hi guys, so we're here at my mama's house, Mama Linda. So Mama Linda is going to teach us today how to make some fish cakes and also some ikamata. So we're going to start off with the fish cakes, so Mama's going to take us away. Okay, kia ora everyone. Um, today, this is my recipe. There's nothing measured like uh, it has to be one cup. You just use how you know how you, what you think you'd like like here i'm going to put in one cup of um, self-raising flour one cup of plain flour so let's see yeah, roughly mix it up a bit awesome. okay a teaspoon of curry powder roughly roughly about here there we are then you add some chicken stock now what else? Oh, salt. Put salt in. Sea salt, I like to use sea salt now. I think it's a little bit better for you. Um, so about, uh, oh, about, a, about that, about a teaspoon. Then, black pepper. Black pepper's always good in food. And have about, oh, about the same, about a teaspoon. Uh, let's mix that up a bit. All right. Then add two eggs. Here, Nacho, you mm. can break and those eggs in there. Okay. Right. And. Oh. All right. Let's stir it up. Yeah. Add some milk to that. Okay. Um, Adding it slowly? Yes, just add it slowly so it's. Mixes oh, all the ingredients together. I think add a little bit more. A little bit more? Yeah. All right, okay, that's good. Yeah, I remember okay. eating your uh, fish cakes and like it had okay. the onion in for the crunch. Yeah. And it was always very, very always nice. Okay, then. And uh, we got uh, slabs of tuna this morning that Mama caught. I'm not that clever. Yeah, yeah, I know she... you think I'm clever, but I'm not that clever. <laughs> oh. Okay, all well, that goes in there. Now, okay, now we'll get some tuna. Here. Yeah. Look at that, that's beautiful tuna. Beautiful, okay, right? We'll, we'll cut it into the bigger chunks. Yeah, let's do chunks. And then you can really taste the fish. So mm. you just. Chop it all up like that. Throw it into the batter. And then, not too big, not too big. Man, chunk. such a simple recipe. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. And when you have a big family, you need plenty of fish. Yeah, you plenty. need plenty. <laughs> big no. families. I've invited everyone but over for lunch. It's nice eating together when the big family is good to eat together. Yeah. And you just mix it all up. Mind you, you have to taste it too. I do? Taste the flour. Taste it. Just put my finger. You know, you know sometimes you might have enough salt in it. Mm, it's nice. Mm? Yeah, it's very nice. Okay, now we're going to cook it. All right. Fry it. I've added a bit of peanut oil. You can't go wrong. It's always nice flavor. Mm. Okay, so we'll just let it heat up. Right, is it hot enough? I'll just check. Okay, so now you're checking if the oil's hot enough? Yep. Perfect. So a bit of batter, a bit of fish. Yeah, a bit of batter, yeah. And you just... I just can't get over how simple it is. Taste it first, whether you like it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I say, oh, I don't like this. Put another one in here. Mm. Start turning it over Man, over here. and how simple is that? Oh my goodness. So this is batch one. You see if it's cooked now too? It looks nice and cooked. Eh? So it's a bit pink inside, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. The fish cooked? Mm. Is it? So nice. Like really nice. Want a bite? Oh, okay. Mm, this one? Use your imagination. Yes. Sometimes you come up with some really good recipes. Just 
trying things out, you know? It's good to learn like your grandma's recipes because one day when, you know, you just, nobody knows it. Exactly. Yeah. And it just takes 10 minutes, half an hour of your time and you'll remember it all the time. Yeah. And write it down because you're not like grandma and know everything. All right, okay. So, Marika, what's the step you got to do when you husk coconut? You come up to your tool. Yeah. This is called a cork. Okay. Husk. Stand in front of it. Hold your coconut like this, like a rugby ball. Yep. Palm on top. Push down. Push the opposite way. Oh, you make that look so easy. How many times have you done this? First time? Oh, first time for everything. <laughs> and there, just clean it off. Use your tool. Boom, pull off the rest. You've got a nice clean coconut. So when you're opening a coconut, you look for the two eyes. It's there, and there's the mouth. Crack right in between the eyes. On the side of the coconut. You have your juice. There you go. All right, guys. So now that we've done, used the traditional one, the machine one is a lot faster. So you just got to make sure it's clean, power it on, and it's got a safety switch just here. And we're going to give this a crack. It's been a long time. Hello, everyone. <laughs> All right, so we're okay, back in the kitchen. Back, yes, we're about to prepare some kukau and starly kamata, which is uh, marinated raw fish. So we're cutting the fish into little sections. Just pop some massive lemons on the table. Yes. Look how big these are. This is what happens when everything's organically grown here. Chop them all up, nice pieces, not too big. You need a nice sharp knife so you don't squash the fish. Look how nice the color of the fish is actually. Yeah. It's a nice red. Beautiful. Plenty of salt. And what does the salt do? Uh, I think it brings out the nice fishy flavor of the fish. See, lots of salt. Okay, we're going to mix it through just lightly with our fingers. Okay, now we need the lemon. Okay, this is your natural sieve. Plenty more, we need lots more lemon. That's how your ancestors used <laughs> Made them strong, eh? <laughs> they didn't have the metal sieves in those days. Pat it down. So it's, just, it's to lightly cook it as well, eh? Yes, yes it does. Okay. It's a good time to taste it. Oh, is it? Yeah. Good piece. That's nice really thing. nice. I, d I don't peel my cucumbers. I think the skin is good for you, so... Mix it all in. It's been washed, so you cut it up. Take the seeds out. Okay. It's unnecessary water that goes into it. And if you're using tomato in there, same thing. Take cut this. up the tomato and squeeze the squeeze the juice out of it. And we'll cut it up really fine. You can add things like coriander, um, parsley. Things like Parsley, yes, all those things, but this is more traditional, I think. Yeah, some people like big chunks in it, but I, I prefer to have small pieces. Big, smaller pieces. So. The greens, what well, we have, do you, local greens. Do you put onions in it as well? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Didn't I put onions in it? I tried. 
all this kind of thing could be prepared beforehand. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put too many in. Yeah. I think that might be enough to bring on your name. Yeah, that's it. Now we're going to mix it up. It's equal with that. It's raw fish, yeah. it's not uh, cooked fish. No, yeah, no, I mean, it's nice. Mm. Okay. Now we're going to put some cream in here. We'll put some oh, pepper. Black pepper in. Mm. So this is making coconut cream. Yeah. It's pure coconut cream, yes. So this is the best way to have it, but you can use the canned coconut cream. Mm, yes, you yes, can, but right. you can you use a canned coconut cream. We don't have a. Mm. Check of approval. Oh no, it's really good. Does Papa want to taste? Think maybe a little bit more black pepper. We'll just put some more. Pepper. I think Papa will want to taste, Mama. Yeah, he can have some. We'll give him some. I'll give him a taste. Cook Islands raw fish. <laughs> So we're currently at uh, Wigmore's Waterfall, located in Titicaca, and it is a hot, hot day. It's a nice place to come and relax. Sign in.
big thank you to you. Thank you.